Excel can only store a number within 15 digits of precision. This number has 20 digits. If you type this into a cell in Excel, Excel will change it to this. All the digits after the 15th digit will become zeros. What if you need to store numbers with more than 15 digits? What about doing arithmetic functions on them? AlchemyJ Excel Library Add-in may come to the rescue. Let me show you how. Hi guys, this is Benson from AlchemyJ. Today we will look at number precision in Excel. The office website shows a list of maximum limits in Excel, such as the maximum number of precision, largest possible, and negative numbers. I've listed three of them in this workbook. Let's try them out. The first one is the maximum number of precisions. Enter a number with 20 digits and see what will happen. Digits after the 15th significant digits are replaced by zeros. What about a decimal number with 20 decimal places? Again, digits after the 15th significant digits are lost. Next, the largest allowed possible number. This number is in scientific notation. It means 9.999999 times 10 to the power of 307. Let's try to enter this number in a cell. It becomes 1 times 10 to the power of 308. If we change this exponential part here from 307 to 308, Excel does not read this as a number anymore. What if I put an equal sign to make it a formula? It gives me an error. Moving on to the third one, it says we can have a number larger than this number here if we use a formula. Okay, so we can use this number and then multiply it by 1.7. You can still get a valid number. However, if we multiply it by 1.8, Excel cannot take it anymore and returns an error. So, we have seen the limitation of Excel. How do we overcome this? AlchemyJ Excel Library add-in is the answer. This add-in comes with around 100 functions that extend the power of Excel. It includes 29 functions that handle big numbers. This add-in is free to download. If you haven't done so, you can download it at alchemyj.io. I've picked the 7 most common operations and we'll try them out in this video. Before we start, I need to click the Initialize Model button so that AlchemyJ initialized the workbook with the required code for me. Now we are ready. The first one is adding two numbers together. Let's see what will happen if we do it with the sum operator in Excel. The first number has 30 digits. The second number has 10 digits. Any digits after the 15th digit are lost. With the AlchemyJ Excel library add-in, we can use the aj big num sum function. We enter a big number as text, so we put double quotation marks around it. Big number functions can support both big numbers and normal numbers as input, so I can enter the second number with a normal number. This big number function gives a result without losing its precision. The next one is multiplication. It is very similar to summation. Let's multiply two numbers that have 30 digits. Again, the result only has 15 significant digits. Anything after that is lost. On the other hand, we can use alchemyj aj big num multiply function to multiply the same numbers. The result shows all the significant digits. By the way, the result is returned as a string. The next one is power. We can mix the power function with the pi function to get pi to the power of 10. Before that, let's see what the pi function returns. It returns pi with 14 decimal places. Then we use the power function to get pi to the power of 10. The result contains 15 significant digits. It loses many decimal places. Let's try it with alchemy j. We can use aj big num power. The first parameter is the number. We will use the pi function 
and then to the power of 10. The result shows all decimal places. We can also round a big number, find the maximum of a list of big numbers, and compare big numbers. I won't do them using Excel native functions, as you can already predict the result will have precision problems. Let's go straight to the way we do it with Alchemy J. To round the big number, we use AJ big num round. Enter a large number with 20 decimal places. We'll round it to 15 decimal places. The third parameter is the round mode. You can pick the round mode you like. I'll use option 4, round half up here. To find the maximum of a list of numbers, use the AJ big num max function and select a range of big numbers. To compare big numbers, use this aj big num is functions. I want to see a big number is greater than another big number, so I use aj big num is greater. Select the two numbers I want to compare, and it returns a true false value. I want to show you one more function, which is the random function. In Excel, rand would always give you a decimal number with 15 digits. The big number version of rand allows you to control how many decimal places you want. Say 30. It gives you a decimal number with 30 decimal places. If you want to see the full list of these big number functions, be sure to check out our documentation. It shows you how to use these functions with examples. I hope this helps you overcome the number limitation in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe before you go. Let more people know about the Alchemy J Excel library at in. Again, it's free, so be sure to download it and check it out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.